What's up YouTube? Fifth position check now after the Chinese Grand Prix and this is going to be a complete recount because this is the first I am actually sharing on Instagram in a post. Um, first we're going to look at the chain by predictions board as we have done with the previous predictions and we'll go through all of them or all, all of them that are relevant now um, up to this point naming all of the podium sitters so far all of the um, top teams have been on the podium except for except for Pierre Gasly with Hamilton and Bottas being in the podium in all three races and if the series continues it's going to be another Mercedes 1-2 and Gasly but since the next race is in Azerbaijan anything can happen most Rubber of the Day awards there hasn't been any repeat so far with Bottas, Leclerc and Albon winning each race so far Drivers getting the most positions from start to flag. Altogether, surprise, surprise, the one leading is Lance Stroll. And I'm looking at you, Andy Cutford. Which livery will be drastically different from 2018? This is a recount I made in a previous video, but this is the recount here. And which race has uh, will, will Alonso win? So far of the um, four that are mentioned, only Day Daytona has happened, which Alonso won. Rookie of the Year will be decided by argument, by debate at the end of the season, but so far it's definitely going to be either Norris or Albin. Strongest team on winter's testing, as you may remember, was Ferrari in a bit of a move that surprised no one, but the pace of Mercedes once the season started caught us all by surprise. Which engine manufacturer will earn the most average points? So far it is Mercedes in both the 25 and down and the 50 and down that if you follow me on Instagram you know what the 50 and down is is another system that I am advocating for its um, adoption in Formula 1 and as for the 20, first 19 questions who would be ahead because Dan is ahead no one has those 5 points I have 18 Dan has 20 and you may notice all of the ones with lower scores now the chamber bingo versus uh since we're going at going for a complete recount i'm not gonna go into too much detail i'm just gonna go up in a kind of an overview kind of a john oliver style overview and so i'm just going to go rather quickly uh williams a complete piece of shit uh, sponsor investigator for fraud, mission winner in Australia. Uh, Formula Home, Formula One, uh, long term plans. 2021, um, a bunch of things going on. MDUH, Renault, Bottas fighting team orders, to whom it may, to whom it may concern, fuck you. Uh, pit stop wheel disaster, Roman Grosjean in Australia, Dutch Grand Prix in 2020, long live in Netherlands, Verstappen beats Gasly. Red Bull special launch livery looks horrible. Uh, Lando Norris scores first in first round. No, he scored first in Bahrain. First time winning Bahrain. No. Leclerc beating Vettel and making him look like an idiot. Yes. Vettel again made a fool of himself in Bahrain. And that gives us a total of nine points so far for our board. You may see the details. Here you can feel free to pause. Now for my my personal predictions board. Again, we're going to go in a quick overview. So here we go. Lance Stroll answering his critics by 
doing a, doing a brilliant overtake of a, of a Magnussen in China. Topless pictures, these guys. Not all your celebration in China. Yes, amazing race. No. And of course, we have that moment with Lance Stroll, which was great, but still it was kind of a boring race. Andres Manuel trying to cancel the Mexican Grand Prix. 10 races with first lap drama, 3 out of 3 so far. Leclerc making Vettel look like an idiot, absolutely, because Bahrain. Um, Racing Point hasn't haven't crashed into each other, in fact they get very they get along very well, in fact probably a little too well. Brexit, a complete clusterfuck, a complete, as I, as we say in Mexico, desmadre. Driver of the day, no one no one has been repeated, and that's nine points out of twenty-five for our predictions board. We might go ahead of twenty-five because of the bonus points, but we're gonna have to wait for that. As for the championship span, um, I will explain this on my Instagram. Um, everyone still has a green bulb, and the bulbs will pretty much only go from green to yellow to to red to finally black, starting in around the German Grand Prix. This is my new Instagram fan page for Lance Stroll. Yes, I am a Lance Stroll fanboy. In fact, probably a lot of the, the people watching this video will probably already know that. Um, and I will also want to, to give a little shout out to my partners. This guy from, from Brazil with another Lance Stroll fan page. This um, fan page from Mexico to get to Pierre Gasly. And this new space for Formula 1 and I hope to see you in the next one for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and for those of you who are already following me on Instagram I've got a little surprise for you for race week.